welcome back to my channel guys mermaid nina here i am on the bus to animal kingdom, animal kingdom. Woo -woo. we're super excited we are going to ride the usual stuff except we are going to attempt to do all the wilderness explorer uh, kiosk locations and get our badges so stay tuned for that we're here for lunch Flame Tree Barbecue. We're at Flame Tree Barbecue, which is on the right side of the Tree of Life. I specifically came here because they do have a vegan sausage sandwich on the menu. And when I was here in October, I confirmed that they could make this hot doggy sandwich, also gluten-free, which is what my daughter is. So we are here eating outside, enjoying the pretty waterways. We actually just saw a launch pad go by on a raft. So we're enjoying our lunch. So let me swing this around and show you guys what we got. All right, so this is the vegan, I think it's called the Lighthouse Sandwich, as is. It comes with like a fried onion ring and some coleslaw and some barbecue sauce. Again, this is on a Beyond sausage with a vegan bun and it comes with crispy fries we've got a gluten-free version here she's shoving it in her mouth the only difference for the gluten-free version is they had a special bun and she cannot have uh, the onion rings and then in case you have a picky kid we were able to order it plain with just ketchup and then what did you get Steve uh, chicken and ribs chicken and ribs for you non-vegans but yeah we're out here just enjoying the scenery having a good time starving actually we got a great view of expedition everest over here and as you can see we're right here by the water this is where we saw launch pad go by all right i'm gonna dig in Jumbo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Wildlife Express here at One Way 
Transportation to grab Pinky's Planet Watch. As a reminder, face coverings should be worn at all times over the nose and chin for the safety of you and me and the other guests around you. Also, there is no eating or drinking on board the train, so please keep those face coverings on and no eating or drinking, please. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the messages from our Pinky's Planet Watch. Aboard the Wildlife Express, in service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures from the affection. Sun, a squash banana. Hi, Rafiki. I will say we are having a blast. It is warm out here, but for some reason, it's oddly popular today at Animal Kingdom. So it's been a bit crowded. Lines have been a little bit longer than usual, but we're still having a blast. And here we go. We got another station. Apparently this recycle bin is important for wilderness See? explorers. They need to write down this code down here. So the kids are actively doing that. I think it's S E. And here's the booth right here. It's all about our environment and the animals living in this environment. Conservation. Do you know what a conservation is? Yeah, it's when people are help help while keeping the animals environment. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. uh, what environment? So, how can you help them? By putting in All right, but we're going this way. All right, so here's the affection section, which it looks like they just returned back the petting part or the visiting of the animals part. Uh, since COVID, you've only been able to kind of look at them, but it looks like they do have an area here for people to wash their hands and to go look at the animals. But we're headed in here. All right. Uh, first, so this will be your animal nutrition and your veterinary badge. So first, do you guys have a favorite animal? Yeah, cheetah. Cheetah. Oh, that's a good one. I don't really have favorite animals. Not yet? Well, that's okay. Well, what kinds of things do um, cheetahs like to eat then? They are animals. They eat all meat. Exactly. So what do you think would happen if we fed our um, cheetahs ice cream? They wouldn't eat it or 
Exactly, because that's not what they normally eat. So that's why it's super important we don't feed animals some of our food. So you see, it was Walt Disney's passion for animals and conservation that led him to send film workers across the globe to catch the magic of wildlife in the locations. Walt Disney's two documentary series have touched the hearts of millions of viewers, inspiring the spirit of con. Food drink Safaris now has the protection shields as well for the queue line as you move to keep everyone safe. Please note the four bandits. Alright, that looks like they've installed the protection walls further in once you get in your lane too as well. Each lane can be occupied and while we're waiting for the and these are new ones, these new uh, lane pavers are all new. They're actually inside, looks like there's some tile work. And they've got some detail going on right here. Makes me feel like these uh, separation walls will be up for a lot. To keep everyone nice and safe. They are loading every row and they, of course they still have the line and shield like before.
Very cool. Can you tell me what your favorite animal was that you saw on the safari? Yeah, the cheetah. The cheetah? What about you? Cheetah too. Awesome. All right. Can you guys tell me a fun fact you know about the cheetah? Yeah. They're the only animals who, they're the only big cats that fur and their claws cannot be All right, well that was a successful day at Animal Kingdom, but we just got a little too hot, so the kitties need a break. Which you know happens with kitties, anyone with kids knows what I'm talking about. So we're gonna head back to the room for a spell, and then our game plan is Disney Springs for dinner, so hopefully uh, we can get that done. But yeah, we just need to regroup and drink our water and you know, do good things, so stay tuned.